Hey guys, welcome to Automotive Diagnosis YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I got something really interesting for you for testing inside the ABS control module, interior components and the circuit. Uh, because many times uh, you may have some fault code for the ABS motor failure or ABS valve relay error. So what we do obviously for uh, those faults, uh, we check the power supply on the ABS module. If I show you something here for, uh, I have provided some other information as well, like the wind diagram, because normally for uh, any ABS system, we have uh, three fuses, three main fuses. One low amp fuse is just for the ABS control unit itself. And we got two high amp fuse. It could be 40 or 30 based on the ABS system. This is the 40 amp and it's the 30 amp. So these two are supposed to provide the power for ABS motor and for the ABS valves. So if something, something goes wrong with the ABS and you have the ABS motor failure or uh, ABS valve relay error, obviously at the first place, you guys need to check these two fuses to make sure if they are okay or not. In this case, they are located inside the engine room fuse and relay box. So you check these two fuses, then you need to check uh, actually these two checkpoints because this is the ABS uh, control module. You need to make sure that you have the power supply on this pin and on this pin on the ABS control module. Uh, first of all, what uh, actually what I'm explaining to you is applicable to most of the ABS, ABS systems. You may have some just some differences on the pin numbers, but the whole structure is mostly the same. So mostly you have three fuses. Mostly you have actually the interior in structure that I'm about to explain uh, is mostly the same. So for these fuses, if I have ABS motor failure or, or if I have a ABS valve relay error, I check these two fuses and then I have this pin, this actually pinpoint and the other one. And I will tell you which one is actually which because for uh, some cars it's really easy to say which one is for ABS motor, which one is for the valves. But if you don't have that information, that's okay, you can check these two points. You should have the battery voltage over there in any circumstances because you, you see that hot at all times. It means these two fuses will receive the power at all times. Doesn't really matter if the switch is on or off and you should have the power at these two points as well. So this is the easiest case. This is actually what uh, most of the guys are doing out there. But what about if the problem is inside the ABS. This is the uh, actually a diagram from uh, ABS control module. What happens in the, what happens in there? So first of all, for this 40 amp fuse, I have the power all the way from here goes to this circuit. And if I chase the wire, it's gonna go all the way from here to this motor relay. It, this one is actually a transistor. I'm gonna show you this transistor on the ABS control unit. So we will find uh, what type of transistor is actually this one is and how, can, how we can test the whole circuit. We do that on the ABS control module. And when this one is activated, it will provide the power to ABS motor. And ABS motor obviously needs the ground, which uh, actually uh, this pin will provide the ground for the ABS motor. So we have some case that you, when you have the ABS motor failure fault code, you check this fuse, you find it okay. This pinpoint uh, shows you the battery power as well. So it could be anything inside. So we need to check this point. We need to check uh, actually this section on the electronic board. We can check the output as well. It could be from the transistor itself. So we check them all step by step in this video. What about for the other fuse? The other fuse provides the power to this rectifier. This is a rectifier, we will find it on the board. 
And then after this rectifier, power is gonna to go to a valve relay. This is another transistor. And this valve relay, which is controlled by the ABS unit, can provide the power to, see? These are all ABS valves. So all the ABS valves, they need the power so they will get the battery positive right from this transistor. And obviously they are controlled, the control line for, a, for any of these ABS valves are provided by the ABS control unit. Okay, so we need to find this rectify, this transistor, this transistor as well, and we check all the connection between them uh, to see how we can uh, test the internal component and part of the ABS module. Okay, let's just start. So this is my ABS module. So technically, uh, based on the workshop manual, you are not allowed to uh, just remove the remove the cover because it doesn't have. That's why it doesn't have any a screw or anything. But sometimes, sometimes you don't you can't find the part you have some problem on the ABS, but you can't find the part, so you have to do that. Okay, what I'm sh showing to you today, is just to find the cause, and obviously we, in some cases we can fix it without actually uh, replacing the whole unit. So I removed the back cover for you guys, so because it's already sealed in here, I just used a nice cutter to cut it all the way. Okay, so I can put it back on later on. And this is my control unit. I have the control unit and I have uh, the ABS connector here. So, so for any ABS we have three sections. This is the ABS motor and I have the valve block here. All the valves are accommodated here and this is the ABS control unit. So I try to remove this one because I, I removed all these uh, mounting bolts to make it easier for now. I try to remove it to make it easier to show everything to you guys. Okay, you see ABS valves are all here. I put this one right there. So it's gonna be easier to show you everything on the, on the board. So this is the ABS control uh, module and electronic board so we need to find out how to how all those pins are connected to the ABS module so first of all if you check the if you check the ABS connector you have some pins in between you have two big pins here and two big pins over there so between these two pins right here and these two pins Two of those pins are normally for the uh, battery, for the battery positive, uh, exactly. These two, okay, pin number one, in this case, and 25, these two are for the battery positive for these two high amp fuses. And two others down here for the ground. Okay, so what I have here in this case, These two up here, they are for the positive. These two down here, they are for the negative. Obviously, based on uh, the ABS system that you got, you can't just check the wind diagram to find out actually which one is a positive, which one is a negative. Most of the case, most of the time, these two are the positive. The bottom ones are for the uh, negative ones. And all these ones are actually uh, for the solenoid valves, for the ABS solenoid valves. And what is this? Actually, this one will be uh, providing the battery positive and negative to ABS motor. So if when you install this one back from this hole down there, actually this one is gonna go deep into the ABS to provide the battery positive and negative for the ABS motor. So what I have here, first of all, the most common fault before starting to check all these transistors the most common fault is coming from actually uh, these power supplies because we have two, you see these four, actually any of them, 
any two connected to one pin. So this is one pin and it's, this is the other one. So any of these two is to provide the power to uh, either ABS motor or ABS valve relay. So it's actually like this. One of them is this one, which is grabbing the uh, battery positive to provide to the valves. And the other one is the positive to provide the power supply battery positive to the ABS motor. So in this case, I have the left one, this one for the uh, ABS motor and the other one for the valve relay for the valves. So this one is going to provide the battery positive for the valves and the other one for uh, the ABS motor. But what is the most common problem? Most of the time, this is, this is what I've had many cases, I have, I've had many times, because if you, if you notice ABS uh, module is actually uh, located like this in the car. And if we consider this one as ABS connector, what happened, ABS connector is here, and because it's located vertically, what happens because of the weight of the connector and the harness over the time, it tends to bend the electronic board. It tends to bend the ABS electronic board. And uh, as a result, we got too much tension up here because of the weight, because this electronic board is tilted and tends to get bent by the ABS connector and the harness. So we got too much tension up here. So what happens over the time, these pins will be disconnected from the electronic board. For some of them, you, you have the solder here, right here. So you can use the magnifier to, uh, to see if uh, the solder is broken, if the solder is broken, and if the pin is separated from the electronic board. So you can solder it back. Okay, have a look at this photo that uh, I had uh, previously on the ABS module and as you see in this photo that I'm showing you on the uh, in this video right now I, I had this one before and you see that the solder is broken so what I did I just soldered it back uh, because when it's broken I don't have a good connection between the pin and between the electronic board so the battery positive cannot just get through the uh, through the board and through the circuit uh, perfectly so what I did I just soldered it back so the first thing that you guys need to do after removing the back cover you need to find the power terminals and use the magnifier to see if those those ones are connected perfectly to the electronic board if you see the solder from here it's gonna be much much easier to find it out so that's very common most of the time problem is that's that much easy you just remove the ABS uh, from the car, remove the back cover and check these two power supply. Uh, for example, this one on this case is for the ABS motor. And if these two are disconnected from the board because of the just loose connection and weak solder, uh, I will have ABS motor failure fault code. And obviously for this one, if something happens for this, I will have uh, AB, ABS valve relay, relay error fault code. But what if these two are okay, uh, what is the next step? The next step is just to figure out which one is which, how many, uh, how many transistor we have, how we can check the transistor or electronic board uh, on the ABS. Okay, so first of all, <coughs> do you remember this wine diagram I showed you? This is the ABS motor relay or the transistor okay so this one first of all is supposed to get a connection uh, a, uh this one is to have a connection between this transistor and this pin okay this pin uh to get the power supply and it does need to have another connection to the abs motor so we need one connection to the abs motor and obviously one of them is connected to the ABS control unit. But if you check, first of all, which one is, in this case, which one is for the ABS, ABS motor, you see the other, you see the ABS uh, 
motor connection is back here the one right back at this this one is actually the ABS motor transistor if you look close you will have the transistor number here 2N06LH5 okay so we can look up for the transistor uh, information or data sheet in the Google you can just find it out so I already found it for, for you out of these three pins this is the data sheet out of these three pins I have okay I have GDS G which is connected here is the control line so this the one on the left is the control line this one is controlled by the end by the ABS control module but out of those other two I have D and S one is actually one is supposed to be connected to the power supply right here and the other one is for the ABS motor the other one is supposed to provide the power to the ABS motor so the middle one which is D is connected to the power supply it's supposed to be connected to the power supply we are going to check it right now and S must be connected to uh, the ABS motor okay so how can we check it right now we grab the multimeter continue the function okay we test it first to make sure it's working properly so we know that this one this pin is for providing the power supply for uh, the ABS transistor ABS motor transistor I'll put this one here these two are actually connected to one pin doesn't really matter if you put it up or down I'll put it right here okay let's put this one somewhere you can see I'll put this one here and uh, as I told you the middle one the middle one is supposed to be connected to the power see I should have to continue the sound I should have low resistance here if I'm getting no resistance and no continuity it means that I have some internal open circuit on the board okay so this is like that but I shouldn't have any connection to the other ones just the middle one but but how how can I do the same thing how can I do the same thing how can I to test the right one which is supposed to provide the power to the ABS motor do you remember this one this is actually for uh, the ABS motor okay so this one if I put this one here to the actually to the right one okay I should have the continuity over there so it means I put this one here uh, between these two pins that left one is for the power the right one is for the negative so this is for the power if I put this one here and the other one to the right side of the transistor I should have the continuity right I should have the continuity and low resistance if I have no continuity and high resistance or not reading I have no reading it means uh, there is something wrong with it okay so this is how we can check the power supply from here first of all from the supply pin to the transistor okay and from the transistor to ABS motor okay what about for the ground because for the ABS motor I do have a ground as well which is this one this is the ground for the ABS motor because I need the ground for that as well and as I told you these two on the bottom these two connectors on the bottom they are for the ground okay they are for the ground so I can check between this ground and the right pin on the ABS motor because the right one is for the uh, to provide the ground so I touch here on the top just the, the right one and okay so what I'm doing if I put it right like this so you guys can see by doing but actually by by this prop I touch the right pin of on the ABS motor and with the other one I touch the ground I should have the continuity and low resistance it means this section is providing the ground for me for the <laughs> ABS module okay so far so good what about for the valve what about for the valve relays? 
for the valve relays, the first thing is we have, this is the uh, fuse for the valves and it brings the power all the way here. We have the same thing for actually here as well because we know that the right one is for the valve because the left one was for the ABS motor, the right one is for the uh, valve relays. We have actually two components. The first one, after having the power here, is this component, which is actually a rectifier, and we have a valve relay and another transistor. So between these two, they are actually located right here. This is the rectifier and this is the valve relay. So how can I, how can I find the information for it? So if you, if I need to turn it over to see the number for this one, can you read the number? I think you can now. B1545G, okay. So I found this one for you as well. You can just look at it to find the information. This is the same thing I found for you. And as you see, it's a rectifier. So it's got two input and the middle one is the output. Okay, two input and one output. It's actually a rectifier. It's exactly the same thing I've got here in the wind up run. So this is this is the data sheet on the for the component and this is what I have in the wind up run. Okay? So these two are the diodes. So what I should get here if I turn it over between these two pins. These two pins, these two pins are actually are supposed to be connected to the power supply to here. And the middle one should pass the power to the other transistor, which is the valve relay. So what I'm gonna do, I check the continuity again. I do have the continuity. I put this one right here for the pin for the valve relay. And I should have the continuity between this one and this pin. I do have it and with the other one. The one on the right and the one on the left because I do have two diodes in here to rectify uh, the voltage. So I should have the continuity here and I should have the continuity between. Okay, so far so good. So this rectifier is supposed to provide the power to the other transistor. What I have here, this is the one. So this is the rectifier supposed to provide the power to here. Okay, so this is the middle line on the rectifier is supposed to provide the power to this transistor. So the other transistor, if I zoom it, if I bring it here, you can see the number again. Okay, for the other one, for this small one, you can look up the data sheet for this one too. So this one does have three pins again. So the top one, actually is connected to the ABS module itself. So the top one is actually the control line. ABS module control the operation of this transistor from the top one. The middle one is actually the power that is receiving the power supply from, uh, from the previous component, okay? So what, what I'm supposed to do, I can check the continuity between the middle pin of this and to this one. So I should have the continuity and low resistance. You see that? It means the connection, the interior connection on the board, on the electronic board for between these two is okay. If I check these two and I don't have any continuity, it means board is actually, board has some internal open circuit. But what about for the bottom one? The bottom, the bottom one is actually to uh, provide the power to all ABS valves. Because if I turn this one over, you see all the ABS control, you see all the ABS solenoid valves here, okay? And if I show you, actually, you see at the end of any of these, if you look closely at the end, you see two wires. Okay, for this, for any solenoid valves, we have two wires. One is for the power, which is actually, which is getting the power from this transistor. And the other one is the control line, which is controlled by the ABS control module. So if you check one by one, you need something just to insert it deep into the solenoid valves, touch one pin, and you should have the continuity between the 
the bottom pin. You should have the continuity with the bottom pin. If you have the continuity, it means it's okay. Otherwise, you have to open circuit. It's, it, this is the one. So, see the output from the valve relay? It provides actually one input to the ABS module. ABS is monitoring here to make sure have, we have the power output from this transistor for the valves. So if you don't have any power here, if ABS uh, doesn't receive, doesn't get anything from this point, it's gonna set valve relay error for you. And it's gonna go all the way to feed all solenoid valves. So you, here you see the all the solenoid valves. And the other end of the solenoid valves are connected to the ABS. So those two wires that you see, uh, when you look at the, when you look deep into uh, the uh, the solenoid valves are actually these two wires. One is the power, the other one is the uh, ground. Something really important when you are checking these transistors, obviously you want to make sure that all these connection, all these connection here, they are nice and okay. They are not broken. You don't see a problem here with this connection. So grab a magnifier, check all these pins, and these two pins, and these two pins. Make sure they are seated properly. I've had some cases that I needed to remove the transistor and replace with the brand new one because anyway, you've got the transistor number on it. But most of the time, the problem is from the connection on these pins or just you just need to do some uh, correction on the soldering uh, here. Uh, but you guys need to be careful anytime because this is about the brake system on the ABS it's about the the safety okay so uh workshop manuals and the companies normally ask you not to dismantle the abs module because it's about the safety if something goes wrong with your car for the brake system it's going to be really really dangerous so this is something advanced diagnostic for you guys uh, just in case that's uh, just in case of emergency if something happened for the abs system you can't find the component you can't find the part and obviously you are not able to drive the car, you might be able to uh, diagnose it with actually uh, what uh, I explained to you. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, put your comments, please, uh, under the video for any experience you had. And I hope uh, this video is gonna be helpful for you guys. Uh, see you soon in another episode.